Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'll explain some formulas related to common solids for which the volume is base times height. Here, base pertains to the area of the base. A cube. A cube is a polyhedron whose six faces are all squares. If you say polyhedron, it is a three-dimensional figure with flat polygonal faces, straight edges, and sharp corners. For a cube, all the sides or edges have the same length. Suppose that each side is denoted by A, then each square face has an area of A squared. Having six square faces, the total surface area denoted by T is therefore equal to 6A squared. The volume of a cube is the area of the base, denoted with B, times the height, H. But since the area of the base is A squared, and the height is A, then the volume is A squared A, which is equal, of course, to A cube. Let's take the case of a rectangular parallelepipe. A parallelepipe is a prism that has parallelograms for its faces. The rectangular prism and the cube are actually specific cases of parallelepipe. The illustration here is particularly a rectangular prism. With sides A, B, and C, we can compute the total surface area by adding the six surface areas. Note that there are three pairs of opposite faces. This is the first pair, the second pair, and the third pair. These opposite faces are parallel and congruent to each other. Applying the area of a rectangle, the area of the base is AB, that is length times width. And we have two of this. The area of the narrower side is BC. We also have two of this. And the area of the wider side is CA or AC. And we also have two of this. Therefore, the total surface area is equal to the sum of twice AB added to twice BC added to twice CA, which is equivalent to this formula. By factoring out two, we have the total surface area to be equal to T is equal to 2 times the quantity AB plus BC plus CA. Similar to a cube, the volume of a rectangular prism is equal to the area of the base times height. Here, the area of the base is AB and the height is C. Therefore, the volume of this rectangular prism is B is equal to A, B, C. A cylinder. A cylinder is a solid, a three-dimensional figure, binded by a closed cylindrical surface and two parallel planes. As illustrated here, the two parallel planes are circular planes. They serve as the basis of the cylinder. Here, the radius is denoted by R, while the height is H. Note that the total surface area of a solid is the sum of the areas of all the faces or surfaces that enclose the solid. The lateral surface area, on the other hand, is the surface area of the solid without the bases. So that, for this cylinder, the total surface area is the sum of this lateral surface area and the areas of these two circles. Now, the lateral surface area is 2 pi r h, while the area of one circular base is pi r squared. Therefore, the total surface area is equal to 2 pi r squared plus 2 pi r h. Again, 
The volume is the area of the base times height. Given the base as a circle, the volume then is equal to pi r squared h. A pentagonal prism. A prism is a three-dimensional shape with two identical shapes facing each other. These identical shapes are called bases. A prism is specifically named according to its base. Like here, this is called a pentagonal prism, the bases being a pentagon. We also have a hexagonal prism, the bases being a hexagon, triangular prism, the bases being a triangle. Now, let's take a look at the formula for the total surface area of a pentagonal prism. As illustrated here, each side of the pentagonal base measures B and the height of the prism is H. Here, A is the apothem. The apothem of a regular polygon is a line segment from the center to the midpoint of one of its sides. Regular polygons are the only polygons that have apothems. All the apothems in a regular polygon are congruent. Now, the total surface area of a pentagonal prism is the sum of the areas of all the five rectangular faces and those of the two bases, which are congruent pentagons. The area of a pentagon with apothem A and base B is 5 over 2 times AB. But since there are two of them, that's why this is 5AB. Also, the area of each rectangular face is BH. That's why we have here 5BH because there are five of them. Therefore, the total surface area is equal to 5AB plus 5BH. For the volume, again, it's area of the base times height. Being a pentagon, the area of the base is 5 over 2 AB and the height is 8. Therefore, the volume is 5 over 2 AB H. A hexagonal prism. For the total surface area of a hexagonal prism, similar to the pentagonal prism, we need to add the two areas of these two hexagons to the areas of the six rectangular faces. The area of a hexagon is 3 times square root of 3 b squared over 2. And we have two of them. That's why this is 3 times square root of 3 b squared. And bh is the area of one rectangular face. That's why this is 6 bh. Hence, the total surface area is 6BH plus 3 times the square root of 3, B squared. For the volume, again, it's area of the base times height. Being a hexagon, the area of the base is 3 times the square root of 3 all over 2, B squared. With the height denoted by H, therefore, the volume of this hexagonal prism is equal to 3 times square root of 3 over 2 b squared h. Lastly, a triangular prism. For the total surface area of a triangular prism, we need to add the areas of these two triangle bases to the areas of these three rectangular faces. In this illustration, a B, C are the sides of the triangular base and H is the height of the prism. The area of the base is then one half B, B, where D is the height of this triangular base and we have two of them. That's why this is BD. The area of this rectangular face on the other hand is AH. This face is 
BAs. And the third phase is CAs. That's why we have here as the sum of the three phases to be AH plus BH plus CH. Factoring out H, we have A, the quantity A plus B plus C, and of the quantity times H. Therefore, the total surface area is equal to BD plus the quantity A plus B plus C, and of the quantity times H. For its volume, again, it's area of the base times height. Being a triangle, the area of the base is one half B, D, with the height denoted by H. Therefore, the volume of the triangular prism is now equal to one half B, D, H. I hope you learned something from this video. Thanks for watching.